under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Firefighters. Joined by Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, and Dan will see a Major League debut on the mound in this one. Anytime you're making your Major League debut, particularly starting a game, I'm sure there's some anxious moments going on. One of the keys for every young pitcher is to not try to be better than you were in the minor leagues. Go out the mound still 60 feet, 6 inches away. But the big key, make sure you continue to pound the strike zone. And now in the box, Joey Wendell. And we are set for baseball here this evening. All even now, two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. So it's a good start to the inning for the Diamondbacks. Lead off hitters aboard. A uh, nice piece of hitting right there. When you're facing a young blood on the mound, young the starting pitcher, you want to get him into the stretch as quick as possible. You want to see how he handles the moment, see if maybe you can run on him. A lot of things going to open up with this next at bat. Standing in now, Cattel Marte. And he looks at one in there, one and two. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. And it's fouled away. Wendell on at first. Nobody out. And this will be fouled away. Lifted the other way to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He's there and records the first down. That With that, the batting order for the visiting Arizona Diamondbacks. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, you better be careful when dealing with that five-hole hitter. He's an imposing figure with a bat in his hands, always seems to turn in a good at bat, and he can do a lot of damage when he barrels up the ball. Into the box now, David Peralta. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. Number seven is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. Batting four, the shortstop, Trevor Story. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop, Trevor Story. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. One and one, here it is. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder is on the run. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. One left for the Diamondbacks. We'll go to the bottom of the first. No score. Luke Weaver gets the call for game one of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? This guy really struggled last year. This season is going to be about a bounce back year. Real ugly ERA last year. He has a lot to prove to himself and to his teammates that he's a much better pitcher than he was last year. So stepping in is number seven. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Fouled off. Another 2 2. 
swing and a line drive. And he is going to have extra bases here to start the home first. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. And he just blasts this that thing down second. the left field line. Second I thought it might bend double foul, double but three. it lands just inside the chalk, and he's able to leg it out for a double. Good looking swing. So now to the plate, number 23. Two balls and a strike. Well, guys, you take a look at this Diamondback squad as they begin play here tonight. They come in just trying to get their feet wet here in this new campaign as they've split their first four ball games. Yeah, guys, after the first four games on this road trip, they find themselves two and two, kind of par for the course. But they got to find a way to play a little bit better today, kind of turn the tide and get it working in a positive direction. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. 2-2, two -two, here it is. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. 3-2. and two. Number 91 will be next. Payoff pitch home. Grounded weakly down the line toward third. Throw in time as he's called out on a bang-bang play at first. And with that, here's a glance at the starting lineup for the home squad. What's this club going to need to focus on this evening, Mark? Maddie, these are the lineups you want to be in. Driving to the ballpark, you got a cup of coffee in your hand, you look at the flags and they're blowing straight out. You're running to the manager's office if your name's not in the lineup. It just takes one grain on that bat, and you got a potential three-run bomb. Look out for these guys going deep today. A swing and a miss for out number two, and a ball he had no chance Batting of making court. contact with. The left fielder, number eight. Stepping in now, Kondo. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two outs here with a runner at third. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Not a good spot to be in right now. A pitcher's fall behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. Lifted down the line and left. After it is Peralta. And foul. Men on third with two down. And he missed with it there. Ball four. It's a two out walk with the runner still at third. Batting fifth. The designated hitter. Number three. And now Wang. And their runners at the corners now. for a base hit. The run is in to score and they take an early 1-0 lead. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Where you get that base hit that and give your team the lead, you have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much, able to quiet the moment down, center himself and come through in a big spot. Hard hit ball to second. That's in there. Base hit. The throw to the plate. And he's out. Beautiful throw home to cut down the run. An absolute dime to the plate for the final out. Certainly worth another look. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. So now here is Austin Meadows. He'll get us started in the top of the second. A bouncer foul to the left side, and the count will move ahead now to three and two. 
Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Fly ball right down the line in left. And that's in there, base hit. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. When it left his bat, I thought it might squirt foul, but it hugged the line and found its good. way into the corner. Thought good. it might be a little bit closer really? play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. To the plate now, Willie Adamas. Outside, two and one. Weak grounder down the line at third. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Kondo is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Batting seven. All right, here's how the home side's lining up defensively. And the average big league shortstop can make every play. But can they make the highlight real play? In order to do that, you got to be able to put your back foot in the ground and absolutely unload from that 5.5 hole if you're playing shortstop. And that's what this guy does. He brings a different element to the game. He has got an absolute hand cannon. In time to first, and there are two away. Batting it. The third baseman, Key Brian. Hey. Striding in is Key Brian Hayes. The base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. The set and the 1-1. One -one. A little bit outside. 2-1. 34 pitches for him through an inning and two-thirds right now. That's not terrible, but it's a lot higher than he'd like. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. He set the 2 2. High in the air, deep down the left field line. Kondo has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. Japan is out in front here, one to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And coming forward, the rookie outfielder, Ota. Popped him up. Walker is over, and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Batting eight. Okay, here's how the snakes are lining up defensively. And guys, today my spotlight's going to be on outfielder Austin Meadows. When I think of him, I think of one word, smooth. He's so sure-handed out there. Offensively, he's got that pretty swing. And defensively, he runs into the gap smooth, people. Lock in on this guy. He's going to be a star in the making. Into the box, number 30. A swing and a ball into the corner that hooks foul. Another full count pitch home. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. That's a pretty sad attempt at hitting a baseball right there. No doubt Batting he was nine. completely fooled Not because shortstop. that was a curveball and it looked like he was late on a curveball. That tells me he gave up on it right till the very end, and obviously there was nothing he could do at that point. Standing in now, number nine. Lifted the other way out to left center. Peralta is under it. No problem with this one, and the inning is over. into the box Stephen Vogt
swing and a liner. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. At the plate, Joey Wendell, and he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Looking up is the right fielder, still ranging back. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. First home run of the campaign for him. And the Diamondbacks move out in front. It's now two to one. When you're facing an elite starter, you know runs are going to be at a premium. I don't know if this shakes the starter's confidence, but you know what it does? It certainly boosts the confidence of the guys in your lineup. Into the box now, Cattel Marte. High and deep down the left field line. And it's a foul ball. If you're on the mound right here, you got to trust your catcher and execute. You know who's coming up to the plate. Ball two. No outs, nobody on. Hit on the ground toward the left. He's got it. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Now back left field, David Peralta. Now to the plate, David Peralta. He flew out in his last A.B. Still only one out in the inning. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Boy, Dero, any time a lefty takes that pitch on the outer third and drives it the diamond. other way, you have to be awfully Good impressed. Shortstop. Yeah, you have to Trevor. be. It reminds me of Will Ooh. Clark back in the day taking that ball the other way. You have to be able to play with the whole field to have success in the big leagues. At the plate now, Trevor Story. Bullet back up the middle. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second now, out. Right fielder, Austin Meadows. Next to hit, Austin Meadows. He doubled his last time up. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run, get you a ribby. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. I win, I win. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. Bottom of the third coming up. It's now 2-1 to one, Arizona. Leading off the inning, it'll be number seven. And they could use a spark from him here. Ball three. Three and two now. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Hot shot down the line, and that'll get by and on through towards the wall. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. No doubt about it. He was looking fastball the all the way there, Number and that's three. exactly what he got. Got the barrel out front and just blasted it down the line for an extra base hit. Nobody out, runner in scoring position. Great opportunity here. In now, number 23. Bunt attempt misses, so it's decision time now, two and two. That's not great form right there, but you can't be surprised. A lot of these guys were not asked to bunt coming up through the minor leagues, so don't expect every sack bunt to get down. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way, and that'll get by and on through towards the wall. To second now, but he's safe as a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. 
back-to-back -back oh, doubles man. now, and that's a Number great way to get an inning going. The leadoff man shows him how it's done, and he comes right behind him following suit, lacing a double of his own. Could be a big inning if this continues. So now to the plate, number 91. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Kondo is on deck. hit the other way out toward right field. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? So next to bat will be Kondo. Worked a walk his first time up. Middle and in for a base hit. And that'll score the runner from third as they seize control here, three to two. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit. To the plate now, Wang. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Now the Diamondbacks get a left-hander up and working in the bullpen. Weak roller right side. Reined in. One there. And good hustle by the pitcher there on the back end as it's a three to six to one double play. And the side is retired. So two runs on three hits. No errors. And no one left on base. Three innings complete. Japan leads it three to two. All set for the start of the fourth. And standing in is the DH, Willie Adamas. Here now the 2 2. Swing and a line drive. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And that will end up a foul ball. Here's another 2 2. Here's a ball swung on and hit high and deep down the left field line. And this will stay fair. Home run. So a solo shot down the line in left. First home run of the campaign for him. And the D-backs have come back to tie things at three. Yeah, and if you remember the previous pitch, he couldn't get around on a fastball and was mad at himself. Well, there's nothing to be mad about anymore unless you're the guy standing on the mound wondering what just happened. At the plate, Christian Walker fouled away. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Skied into very shallow right. Ota is in a few steps as he takes it for the first down. The so with the fly out the there coming on the fastball, Keep seems like an appropriate time three. to check out our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And you can see that both guys are well into the 90s, 95 on one hand and just two miles an hour slower on the other. Aye. That's strike two on a well-placed changeup around the knees. And he fouls this one off. Drilled right.
right back up the middle and that's through for a hit. Nice execution right there Dan kept his front shoulder yeah, in it. kept his hands okay. inside the baseball and ripped the base hit up the middle. Oh. And if you're a pitcher right there you can't get discouraged sometimes even when you make a good pitch the ball is going to find a hole somewhere that one right up the middle into the box now Steven Vogt. Strike two is the fastball is let go. Hayes stands at first with one out. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate and he'll have another shot at it here. Again a one two got him. Hey. And with strike three recorded there, he's notched his first career Major League strikeout. Well, man, if he can become a consistent strikeout pitcher, you have to figure his career is going to end up being a solid one. All the best pitchers at this level have at least one pitch that they can go into in tough situations. So we'll see if he becomes one of those guys as his career goes along. Standing in now, Joey Wendell. That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. Fielded cleanly, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. But a run scores in the inning, and that'll have to be good enough as this solo home run knocks things up. Bottom of the four. Stepping in once again is Namura. He collected a base hit his first time up. The 1-1. One, one. This is in the air out to right field. Meadows has it, and there's one away. The batter, number five. Ready now is Ota. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. That's a pretty unique pitch sequence, guys. Now Usually pitching Number is all 30. about mixing pitches and location, but he threw that all out the window to get that strikeout. He offered the same pitch three times in a row, so I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. Into the box, number 30. Oh, and this just jumps off the bat here as this is to deep straightaway right field, and you can pretty much forget about this one. That is a long home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number three here in the early going as they take the lead four to three. There's still some game left to be played, but that one swing could end up being a deciding factor in this one. So now to the plate, number nine. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. The 2-2. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. We played four. It's now a 4-3 ball game. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring up the infielder, Cattell Marte.
now the one and one pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out. One away. Well now executed to Seymour on the outside David. corner that time. And, and that's what we'll you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. At the plate now, David Peralta. Sliced hard down the left field line. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Take a look at this again in slow motion. He tracks this thing oh, all the, the way, gets his hands the quickly through the zone, and Trevor just rips it down the left Ford. field line, just how they draw it up. One out, runner at first, and in to hit next, shortstop Trevor Story. Two two pitches fouled away. Well, he's given up his fair share of hits in this debut, but it really hasn't come back to bite him. He's done a nice job working out of trouble. Yeah, he has, Matt. This is one of those football terms. He's bent but not broken. He's had several opportunities that he could have been knocked out of this game, but somehow, some way, he finds a way to make big pitches when he needs to when he's in trouble. The throw is wild and it gets away. And that's hitting one on one right there, guys. The only way you're able to execute that type of base hit on that type of pitch is to recognize it early, stay tall, stay back, and trust the process. Now time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. In now Austin Meadows on the ground is short this could be two there's one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning one left for Arizona score holds at 4 3. Caleb Smith will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Caleb Smith. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in number seven. He's got a couple of doubles thus far, so we'll see if he can keep it up. And he lays off again, ball three. Fastball in there, three and two. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Back up the middle. That's through another base hit for him. He's three for three. So the leadoff man reaches in their half of the fifth. Now back. First game Number of the new series, and he's already sitting on three knocks right now. The pitching staff might have to make an adjustment going forward. Stepping in now, number 23. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Only play to the pitcher covering, and the runner moves into second on the play. Now batting, number 91. Next up is number 91. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. One and one count. Here's the pitch. One and two now as this catches the outer half. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well executed fastball down the way, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. Pops this one up, and this is going to wind up a foul ball. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. In tight with the slider, two and two. And it's fouled away.
fouled off. We're in the fifth inning of a four to three ball game here. Grounded to short. And that's the second out. Now battle. Number eight. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Kondo, singled in his last at bat. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield, he's going to wave them. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball, you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Five innings complete. Japan is on top here, four to three. Striding forward now is the DH, Willie Adamas. There was a solo shot. Here comes manager Bud Black out of the dugout heading for the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. So as he leaves with the bases empty, he stands to be the winning pitcher here tonight if the bullpen can hold up the one run lead. Number 57 enters from the now bullpen 50. to do the pitching. Number 57. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Number 23. Stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Up next to the Diamondback, the first baseman, Christian Walker. Next to hit is Christian Walker. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. High in the air down the right field line. Ota is there, two down. Up next for the Diamondbacks, the third baseman. So Keep two Ryan away for the D-backs here in the sixth. And up next is Key Brian Hayes. field line right fielder giving chase he tracks it down and that will end the inning so one two three go the Diamondbacks they still trail it here four to three bottom of the sixth inning now and striding forward the designated hitter Wang This is hit the other way out toward left field. Peralta comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Now batting, number 24. Digging in will be Namura, flew out last time up. Fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. Got him swinging in the dirt. He makes the throw to first, two down.
Well, you know you yeah, made yeah. a real nice pitch when you Double bounce five. it in the dirt, and you still get the hitter to swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. To the plate now, Ota. And he fouls this one off. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. You gotta be happy. Keep working today. That's my week on Monday. Don't worry. You gotta be happy. Keep fighting today. That's my So now into the box is Stephen Vogt. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Right side, but it's well foul. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location, so a good job now there that, of exploiting that. Piece. That can be real hard for Joey. some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Into the box, Joey Wendell. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Three runs, nine hits. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. And here's a ball hit in the air. Left fielder giving chase, and they can't run it down. Hit back up the middle. He's got it. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now battle. The center fielder. Patel Martin. Digging in. The switch hitter. Patel Marte. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. We're in the seventh inning now of a 4-3 ball game. Hit hard up the middle. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. So the top of the seventh isn't over yet after the two out base hit. Up next to the diamond box, the left fielder. Into the box now, David Peralta. And that misses two and one. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Marte is off of first with two away. Here's a fly ball well hit. Left fielder looking up to the track to the wall. Gone! A two run shot that gives them the lead. David Peralta with a two run shot first home run of the campaign for him as they will take the lead here it's now a 5 4 ball game there's a perfect example of why you have to be careful in this ballpark right there this pitcher's got to be wishing with just a few more feet of room in left field it's probably an out Blake now, Trevor Story, and it's fouled away. Ready with the two and two. Skied into straightaway right. Ota will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. But the Diamondbacks pick up a couple courtesy of this two run home run. Get up and stretch home half of the seventh coming up. It's now a 5 4 Arizona lead. And now here is number 30. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Down by one. I'm interested to see how they approach this as an offense, especially if they get someone on base early in the inning. Some teams, you know, they're going to try and manufacture that run, just trying to get that one run across. Others, they're going to look for one or two big swings to make it happen. Fouled off.
The 3 2 pitch. Lifted down the line in left. Peralta on the move. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. The batter, number nine. So Ronnie Rodriguez will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Ronnie Rodriguez. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Can't connect there. It's two and two. Boy, this guy's got it going on right now. He's executing everything. He should feel pretty good. He's retired seven in a row. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now. Three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out three passes this late. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes now out number two. Number seven. At the plate, number seven. Grounded up the first baseline. Fielded cleanly. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. Your Ronnie Rodriguez please. will remain in the game in the ninth spot in the order and take over at shortstop. Ronnie Rodriguez. Ready to begin the eighth, and Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Number seven is there, and he'll bring this one in. The batter, number one. And in a 5-4 game, let's give you a look at the starter comparison to see how these two guys stack up against one another. So to the plate, the Diamondbacks designated hitter, Willie Adamas. And if you remember, I'm sure he does, he hit a round tripper back in the fourth. And the 2-1. One out, nobody on. Hit on the ground to third. Reined in. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Now back, the first base. Christian Walker. So now to the plate, Christian Walker. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Just out in front of that one, still two and two. Pitch on the way. Key Brian Hayes would be next. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Popped him up. Number 91 is under it. And he makes the play to end the inning. Diamondbacks down in order. They hold on to a 5-4 lead. Tyler Clipper is on to pitch now out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 36, Tyler Clipper. Now with the plate is number 23. One for two with a double on his line thus far. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. 
swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. People always talk about how now important bad. getting the leadoff men on base is, and, and it's true. So in the eighth inning of a one-run game, that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. Stepping in now, number 91. A swing and a ground ball to third. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Fly ball right down the line in left. After it is Peralta. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Hey, you guys know me. Hitting's a process of elimination. And I'm eliminating the change up this next pitch. I'm on everything else. Sky down the left field line. Peralta is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Now batting number eight. Up next, Kondo. He bounced out last time up. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. Two out, nobody on. A bouncer to the left side, scooped up. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Ninth inning coming up. D-backs lead it five to four. All set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Key Brian Hayes. And a splitter is over for a cold third strike as he's left shaking his head one guy. Well, at the plate, he kind of got bailed out on that previous pitch. I think it should have been a strike. Then he goes down looking, and you really can't feel too sorry for him. It's not a lot of protecting with two strikes there. Standing in now, Stephen Vogt, high in the air out to center field. Number seven is there, and he has it for the out. Now batting, the second baseman, Joey Wendell. Joey Wendell will stride in, but first we take you back to the third as you take another look here at his two-run homer that had him rolling early on. Set. Here comes the 1 1. A bouncer up the middle. He's got it. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. Boy, when things are good, things are going really good. How about a swinging bunt infield single right there for his third knock of the game, D Row? Yeah, he has to be feeling frisky right now. He's had two great at bats, and then this one, he's 100% on fire. Getting an infield single for his third knock of the game, that's awesome. Into the box, Cattell Marte on the ground, softly towards second. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. One left for the Diamondbacks. They lead it 5-4. to four. Joaquin Soria enters the game to finish this one off now here in the bottom of the ninth. Number 48. Joaquin Soria. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And digging in is the rookie designated hitter, Wang. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike, too. Oh, and he got a pitch to handle as this ball is hit high in the air and deep. And, folks, this ball game is tied.
A solo shot here to straightaway right field as we are all tied at five. How about the work the lineups have been doing so far, fellas? Yeah, thanks, Matty V. You know what, Dero? When the wind's blowing out like it is today, you're going to see a lot of home runs, and that's what we saw. Yeah, Dan, you know this as a pitcher. You can miss hit a ball that's going to the cheap seats today. They did an excellent job of changing their approach and getting balls in the air. Into the box now, Lemura. Two and two. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan, D. Rowe, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, D. Rowe, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. Uh, got him on the good slider there swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight We know he's probably still thinking about that game no tying home run He just Number gave up, five. but I'm gonna give him credit for not showing that it's bothering him when you come back and strike out the next guy It shows you've still got your head in the right place So now to the plate Ota fouled away Bases are empty, one man out. To two balls and two strikes now. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Swing and a ball lined hard towards short. And there's out number two. Now battle. Number 30. Next, here is number 30. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Bases are empty here with two men out. Full count now. He's set the three two. And great extension as he drives this one high in the air and deep the other way. Gone! Santa Maria! Game over! A solo shot here to left. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. Fight! 